Hello Mustangs, this is Coach Tritely and we're going to go through six goals against us in the scrimmage against Palmer on Saturday, March 7th, 2020. So the first goal is going to be a settled situation. I'm going to play this in slow-mo. The ball was uh, back here uh, on the left wing and uh, they've just uh, made a pass over to this um, position at X. Now that's an off-center X position. We're going to call it X. And then that offensive player is going to drive topside. I want to watch the uh, the individual defense here. It's a good stance, a good movement. But let me zoom in. The challenge is we've got to position ourselves to swing our hips to block GLE. Uh, what happens in Rewind is right here, you're going to see the defender throw a slap check. See it right there? This is a time when we do not want to throw checks. We need to worry about our position, uh, our stance, and our footwork. If this player, instead of throwing that slap check, had moved and swung their hips to be able to defend this as a solid wall, toes to the end lines, knees, hips, shoulders in line with goal line extended, they would have been able to turn back this dodge. But nonetheless, the dodge gets above goal line extended, and that happens. Zoom out a little. I want to talk about the slides. So they have a player on the crease here. I'll change our color to, um, to yellow. So there's the uh, player on the crease, which means we're in a crash slide package. That means this is the one slide. And this player right here should be the two slide coming from the top side. And what we get instead is we get two slides, one from here and an adjacent from there. Two slides are better than none. But what happens is the slides come late and the two slide never paid attention. So if you look, uh, you can see that the two slide player never realize that they were the two slide to turn around and pick up that crease. So again, we just need to slide sooner and from the correct place and we need to get a two slide. So right now, this should be the one, this should be the two. The one should already be going because you can recognize down here that the on ball defender has given up top side and the uh, opponent is two to three steps below GLE. And so the, the hot slide should be going right now and all the two slide has to do is turn around and pick up that guy. He's standing right there. And we would have, would have been able to repel this, uh, this play. All right, the next goal. This one is uh, scored in transition. They're going to make a long clearing pass. They've already thrown the ball, it looks like. They make a long clearing pass down to here. And our defender uh, works to intercept the ball, which is fine. I like that aggressive play. But misses it. So the attackman has caught the ball. So now the opponent has the ball right here. And they're going to drive to the cage and score. The lessons learned here are that, number one, the original defender, this person, needed to take an inside position and you're going to watch how they roll around to the backside and throw a trail check on um, um, the outside of the opponent instead of the inside of the opponent because they chase the stick. Do not chase the stick. Regain proper position and take away the inside. The second is that we get a hot slide from here which is great. And it's a well-timed slide, but the slide goes a little bit too far downfield. Instead of coming straight at the player with a top, feet, top side position, notice that they come down. And because of it, they give up top side. Remember, when you slide, you still slide to the correct position as if you were approaching uh, your opponent in any other on-ball manner. And so we don't want to be downfield here. We want to be upfield. And because of being out of position downfield, we throw a stick check that the opponent runs right through, shoots and scores. The third goal is going to be settled. So this is a topside dodge. Uh, the opponent is uh, has the ball up here, and he is going to uh, dodge in and, and to his right. And a couple of 
lessons learned. First is that the on ball defender right now is is playing it nose to nose. So remember, we don't want to be defending nose to nose here. We should be defending. Let's assume this is a right handed player. This defender needs to hustle over to the side, this direction basically, so that they're defending at a double 45, taking away the right hand. But the defender gets lulled into just following along nose to nose and then gives up that speed dodge. Now, we get a really good slide here. It's well timed, it's coming from here. So that hot slide arrives. Um, at about the roof of the house. Now the good news about the on-ball defender here, even though we were out of position, is that the on-ball defender did get beat out here in the yard where we want to get beat, which allows the slide to arrive in time. But the two slide just picks the wrong opponent. So unfortunately our two slide is in position down low here. This is our two slide. They're in position, but they, they go to the wrong opponent thinking that the pass was intended for a different player. You know, that sort of thing happens. Fog of war. All right, the fourth goal we're going to go over is in transition. So right now, look at how our midi is chasing with so much hustle. We are now in a four-on-four -four situation. There's This is not a fast break. So right now, the top side defender is getting ready to slide as if it's a four-on-three fast break, which is fine. But well, we need to recognize that this was not actually a fast break, and that defender could have just returned to play their own ball opponent. But nonetheless, our defender fired over, and so the offense runs it as if it's a fast break. What we're going to see here is, is what I call a half slide. This defender only slides halfway up. Once our point defender, our top side defender has committed over, we have to all rotate no matter what. Whether that was the right fire slide or not, we now have to rotate. This defender had to come up. This defender had to go over. This uh, midi or the original defender would have to go down. We have to get all of those rotations. If you watch here, you'll see we get a half slide. So this defender kind of showed a slide but never quite went. This defender is playing like it's man to man and isn't positioned, isn't ready to rotate. So we don't get the rotations and they get a simple doorstep. Next one is also uh, a fast break, but this one's a real fast break. So right now you can see our midi that's chasing is too far behind uh, to make it a settled situation. So this is not going to be four on four, it's going to be a straight up four on three fast break. But watch what happens. Who is the highest defender right now? Who's the top side defender? It's this player, correct? But what happens is the low defender comes to stop ball, and that messes up the whole rotation. What should happen instead is this low defender drops down here. This defender is playing the outside guy here. This defender is playing the point attackman. But that top side defender is going to have to fire over to stop ball, and our rotations would go from there. What happens is we came from the low side, so they're going to pass the ball down, and then uh, our defender plays it as best he can. This defender is going to favor the low man, which is correct, but in doing so, we've given up this outlet pass through to here, and he's going to step down, catch the ball, and now we've trapped our defender on the backside here with a uh, with a two on one. So they've got two, we've got one, and they're just going to split it. Now there's one more lesson learned here, and they score that goal. One more lesson learned: the chasing midfielder is going to have to pick up. Either the top side player here or potentially go all the way down to the low opponent on the side where the ball initiated in the fast break. So right now, the opponent brought the ball in on this side of the corner. Remember, like um, 
all offenses, they want to make a square uh, in this fast break. So this is the ball side of the square over here. And so our chasing midi is either going to take this guy or that guy, depending on what the rest of the defenders do. But what I want you to watch is look at how the chasing midi and the hot slide, the fire slide defender, both play the same man. We basically double team this person for one, maybe two, two good long seconds, and that also creates that two on one on the backside. And the last one is a settled goal. This is good on ball defense out in the yard. Now we got beat, but remember. We expect it to get beat. What matters is where we get beat. We got beat out here in the yard, which is great. They don't have a crease, so we're in an Ajax slide package. This is the correct slide. The slide is well-timed to arrive before the Dodger can penetrate into the house. But here's the challenge. We don't get a two-slide. This two-slide needs to come over here, and it doesn't. And watch what happens. So good slide, no two-slide, simple step-down shot. The other uh, lesson learned I want to point out here is it's not just the two slide. It's also the Rico. So the on-ball defender who was beat out in the yard needs to recover slide, recovery slide, or Rico slide all the way up to the man that was left open when the two slide went. So pass came up to here. So if this two slide was on time to stop that ball, then the opponent is going to pass over over to this teammate. And if they make that pass to that teammate, then this Rico slide has to get there in time. It's a long way to go, and you got to run full speed. That's a dead sprint. So even if the two slide had played this correctly, we still wouldn't have been able to stop them because we didn't get the Rico slide in time. Slide packages usually require three people to run full speed. The one slide or hot slide, the two slide, and the Rico slide. More on that later. Thanks for listening, guys.